What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are off to a hot start. We are on our way to a home decor meeting. Um, I told you guys about this last vlog a little bit, but we're gonna go meet with our interior designer for like backsplash and because there are like a couple finishes in the house that we did not do. We pushed it back. Yeah. So we could get in the house. Yeah. So like we like paused the things that we like did not want to have to like deal with so we can move in faster. That was like obviously a year ago, like in March. So there are things that we pushed off and now we want to finish before baby boy gets here and just kind of like feel like our life is complete. <laughs> like the house at least so we can feel like comfortable and just like of course not having people in and out and I don't want to push it off another year you know what I mean so we are going to go pick out kitchen backsplash we're going to try to see um like what our little vision is for the powder bathroom and then um we need some light fixtures for the kitchen there's just like little things that are just like little finishing touches which are which I'm still I don't know how I feel about the light fixtures in the kitchen personally you have to have light fixtures in the kitchen. It's I weird. Have if, to. It's so weird if you don't. Trust me. <laughs> Makes the space look not complete. But and then we're gonna kind of like see inquire about some curtains. But um, yeah, because they hung our curtains in our room, and like I did the rest of them in the other rooms, and they're just not good. <laughs> like they're just not like professionally hung curtains is something that I didn't realize that is totally a necessity. Like, if you know how to hang curtains by yourself, congratulations. If you know how to measure all that, I don't congrats. Think, I don't think it's necessarily like hanging curtains. It's just making sure it's like... Proportioned. Uh, I was gonna say like, it's like the perfect like curtain rod, curtains. Like, yeah. It's a, And it's actual like good curtains. It's not just, from, no offense Target. It's not from just like Target. Yeah, the other ones are from like Amazon and Target. I'm like, okay, it did the job for like what we needed it for, but mom and dad morning out this vlog is going to be kind of like a few days in the life i'm going to vlog today's little meeting i'm going to vlog our baby appointment in a few days i'm going to vlog my haircut appointment because i get so many questions on my haircut and same <laughs> get so many questions on my haircut and my bangs and how i cut them so i'm going to take you guys with me to that so i might have you guys vlog swimming huh. swim lessons Hopefully it goes as good as last week. Yeah. But we'll see. This vlog is just going to be all over the place. But welcome back. Happy to see y'all. We are almost to our meeting. So yeah. we're exhausted also. It's so long. Jarrett woke up this morning at like 6. Cold plunged. Worked out. All before I even got out of bed. Ate his breakfast. And I woke up at 7 got ready and we hopped in the car at 8 8 45 i started getting ready at like eight but you know um <sighs> but yeah a little morning out might get lunch who knows let's take advantage do we take advantage of having chloe help us okay my arm's getting tired so take y'all to the meeting right now that is oh that's what tyler said that's so that you have the snow white there's okay. natural white and then these are that one i pulled this one out from i do one, like that one it's like i really like that inspo pick inspo the for the backsplash mm. it depends on how dramatic you want to go because yeah. i love I the idea this, so. i love the idea of taking it all the way up yeah. Yeah, that one's more like this also a pretty pink love this oh that is a pretty pink yeah, this is the winner, I think. You have a lot of pink tile yeah. right now. Yeah. All right, well, that was a very successful meeting. Very successful. We got every single thing done on the checklist. The curtains, hopefully. Oh, do you want to show or no? I already showed it all in there. The samples are in the back, but um, everything we wanted to get checked off got checked off. We're, we got our tiles. We just got to put them in front of the... In front of the... Um, the walls to see like how thick it is and everything but feeling so happy about it and probably gonna get this all done within the next couple weeks the tiles won't take long it just we just have to plan for like not being in the area so but i'm very happy i feel so accomplished yeah it was great and 
I get this question all the time, but we um, do everything through Nuance Interiors. And if you have ever watched any of our vlogs and you have asked me where something is, I'm never going to answer because um, we sourced everything custom through them. And so, like, I just, I don't have an answer for you. You're just going to have to go to them. But I no always... Links. There's no links. Like, there's literally no links for anything. Everything we use through them. And, like, if you want it, then you have to go through them. Like, kind of, like, I just, I don't know how to explain that. Like, we went the route on our house to where, like, we went through all of them. Because, like, they know how to source it. They know how to get it. They know how to, like, facilitate it and everything. Like, I didn't order anything for this house. Unless I did, like, the bedrooms or whatever. But, like, that stuff I can link. But the majority of the stuff that you guys want linked are, like, living room, kitchen, our master bedroom, our bathroom, like our tile. I'm like, I don't have any of that. It's all through an interior designer. So like Nuance Interiors, if you guys have any questions, always just like go to their Instagram. They DM people back and they tell them exactly what it is. Cause I don't know the tile number, like natural right Z four or five. Like, no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> that, that was like, that was good. Well, that was what was on the thing. So I just said that. Um, so yeah. Again, so, like, if you're, like, new here and you, like, watch the home tour vlog and you're starting to follow me because of it or whatever, because that vlog is, like, going off lately, which is fantastic. I love that. But I will never have a link for anything in our house, unfortunately. And I try to stay on top of it with, like, telling you guys that and, like, DMs and everything. So, that's just me reiterating. But we are finished with our meeting. We're about to go look at rocks because if you remember from the last vlog, it was closed. So, Gotta go look at rocks for the driveway, and then it's kind of our home meeting agenda today. Trying to get stuff situated. Call it nesting or call it productivity. It's so hard to tell. Oh, is this the one you were looking at? Oh, yeah. Well, that was easy. That's option one. What's the other option? Oh, there's, well, we can just go look at the other ones over there real quick. Well, I like that. Like, oh, I'm just yeah, right, I actually don't like it. I actually don't hate that. Native cobbles. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. Native cobbles. Okay. Definitely not Aztec. <laughs> Alright, that was easy. Super easy. Way easier than I thought it'd be. We're going with the cobble. I thought I was going to like the limestone, the but I'm with the cobble. Cobble. This is why we built a house so fast because we just made those decisions <laughs> in less than one day. Go us. We're being productive. That's honestly the key when building a house. Absolutely. Because people are always like, well, why is it taking us so long to build a house? Why is it? And it's like, if you know what you want and you just make quick decisions. Just do it. Now, don't get me wrong. You want to make the right decision. Yeah. Don't totally. force it. But if you can make quick decisions and make them right, like it's the process will be much faster. Yeah, and we've gotten that compliment from our builder and our interior designer that we make such good, fast decisions, and that's why everything came together so us. We were just talking about that, so life hack, be more decisive <laughs> <laughs> or marry someone who's very decisive. Um, but right now, we're going to head to HEB and pick up some a few things for dinner tonight, um, and the then Jesus. Jarrett wants to take me to go see some land what's wrong with that there's nothing going on here trust me i'm not ready to buy a new land to build but jared wants to own land because he's just his side job as a realtor i guess because football's not doing it for him <laughs> <laughs> just kidding no look in life bad dirt there's not a lot of things that they're not making any more of one of those things is land okay so, well we're gonna go look at a few properties and just check explore for the future i guess and just own it for a couple years don't get it but whatever look at you playing all dress up with all your new clothes <gasps> what are you drawing oh my goodness Lennon wipe Oh, you wiped a booger on there? Okay. Hey, let me see your outfit. You want to wipe it? Okay. We're obsessed with cleaning. Let's clean. What do you say? 
You're welcome. You want to wipe? Good job. Good job. <laughs> I just got her all new clothes from like Zara and stuff and she wanted to try them on. But this is not the outfit I would have put together. She picked it out. Oh my goodness. Hey, Lennon, come here. Look. Lennon has swim this morning. Chloe and Jared are going to take her while I go get my nails done. So I'll update you guys on that. But I want them to take the camera with them because... Lennon actually enjoys swim now, so I want to catch it on the footage and on the vlog to remember. Um, but this cute little bathing suit. And then we've got this little outfit because today, yesterday was 95 and sunny, and today it decided to be 47 and windy. So that's the difference. But these are from Zara, and then this is from Atlas Gray. It's my favorite neutral baby brand company. It's the best. You want to go to swim? Lennon swim. Hey, look at this. Look at this. You're gonna wear these at, at swim, yeah. Hey, but you gotta go change your diaper, okay? Okay, diaper, let's go. I'm letting my sister and Jared do a little takeover today, so they will be vlogging from now on. Bye, I'm going to get my nails done. Say bye-bye, mama. Outfit. You can change your outfit, yeah. Go. Go. <laughs> oh my goodness, you look like our Lord and Jesus look, Savior, but look, cute. Look, 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 look. Here, let me see your shoes. Show me your shoes. It's, like, it's, like. it's cold, isn't it? Let's go inside. Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, say open. Open. Look, let me see your shoes, though. Oh my fashion. Open. Open. Go, go, go. It's cold. It's cold. Say, bro, bro, it's cold. Whoa. <gasps> oh my goodness. Mommy, mommy, we got you all changed. Up. You look so good. You ready to go swim? Hey, let me see your game day face. Yeah. Come here. Hey, can you look at me and smile? Look at Daddy. Hey, look at me. Hey. No, you gotta look at me, silly. Look at me, smile. Yeah, girl. You're gonna do that. Yeah, we gotta wait though, because it's not our turn yet. Wait, wait. Hey, say, hey. Hey. <laughs> jump, jump, jump! Jump! New swimsuit. Wow. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Are you gonna kick? And. Uh huh. You're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. You have to wait. <laughs> what do you wanna go do? What do you wanna go do? <laughs> what? <laughs> We're gonna jump in the water. You gotta practice your jumping skills. Here, practice your jumping. Ready? No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Get down, get down, get down. Okay, we got, here, ready? You're gonna jump on three. One, two, three, jump! Jump, yeah! Ready? One, two, three, jump! Lay and jump in the water. Ready? One. Okay, ready? One, two, three, jump! Game day. Let's go swim. All right, hey, ready? Hey, ready? Hey, swim on three. One, two, three, swim. All right. <laughs> Kick, 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 kick. Are 
and kick. You're being silly. Jump in.
favorite part about swimming? Mm. When he jumped in the wawa. And then when he kick, 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 kick. We gotta start practicing. Hey, do you wanna show the camera your fishies on your hands? No, right here. Hey, show the camera your fishies on your hands. Go like this. No, go like this. Remember, you gotta show your fishies on your hands. Hey, did you have fun at swim? Open, open. You want to open? Hey, did you have fun at swim? <laughs> did you have fun? Say yeah. I know you had fun because I saw the videos. Now we're just eating lunch before nap. Finally, y'all, this is a big moment. These are my real nails. So this is, this is the nails that I got today, but these are my real nails. If you know, you know. I've always had short nails my entire life. Wow, they look so good. All right, y'all, the room is all cleaned and ready to be painted. The painters are on their way. It is Thursday morning, and I'm so excited to show y'all the after of this. Good morning, it is Thursday. February 29th. It's leap leap year. year. Leap year. Happy this leap day doesn't year. exist every year. Doesn't every, exist. Every year. Every year. <laughs> Words are hard. I'm going to put you guys on the dash. 35 weeks pregnant. Another growth scan ultrasound update. I cannot believe that after this appointment, I go every week now. Like, we were just talking about that. It's just, how are we at that point? Oh. Um, but I'm feeling every single ounce of 35 weeks pregnant. <laughs> I feel like I just have, I always love pregnancy. Like I loved my pregnancy with London. I love this pregnancy. It's just been so much more, it's been different. I don't like to use the word hard. I save hard for really, really hard things, but it has been almost hard. <laughs> it's been difficult. It's been difficult. Um, just because like with a toddler, there comes so many different things that I didn't really like think about. Like I was just telling Jared this morning, I'm like, I miss like just letting her lay on my, like just lay on me. Cause she always wants to sit in my lap and she can't sit in my lap. Like literally cannot sit in my lap and I can't read her book. It's like out here. Like it's just, I miss that. So I'm excited to like get back to like just no belly. <laughs> But obviously soaking in these last few weeks with just her is like so important and I know I'm gonna miss it, so. But, yeah. So going to the OB, this vlog is gonna be like so much more different than I've done before. So like, let me know if you guys like this kind of format of just like filming a little bit each day, like a weekly vlog, I don't know. But 
today's probably the last day I'm gonna film because I got baby appointment then we got painters that are here this morning that are painting the room which I'm so excited to show y'all finally and then gotta um, get that thing up and running yeah and then I have my haircut which I'm taking y'all to so that my girl who cuts my hair can tell y'all what I do because I don't even know what I do it's kind of just like it's like robotic at this point because I know what I like yeah I don't know what I do either Jared was gonna try to get in a hair appointment at the same time as me but it didn't work, didn't work. Um, but yeah so let me know if you guys like this kind of format of vlogs it's obviously different than what I've done before but why not shake it up every now and then like a little Jared takeover what? He was talking yesterday about how much he wants to, like, just take the camera and vlog. I'm like, you would never. Yeah, but I'm saying just, like, You want me to follow day. you and do it. No, but, like, what I do in a day. Like, Yeah, training, absolutely. Training. People would love that. But the thing is, would you know? would never. You would never, like, take it to your trainer, training, put it up and I press mean, you're, play. you're probably right. Yeah. It's just too, too much work. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Anyways, maybe that's one day. I feel like whenever I pregnancy login I always have to like go through my mine my my uh my like weeks since my Braxton Hicks are crazy because I like to remember all this stuff you know what I mean like it's like my vlogs are also for me I like to watch back and like oh this was baby boy's journey <laughs> but so from 30 was when was my last 34 weeks I mean technically literally no. I it was 33. Let's say, no, it wasn't last week. It was the week before on a Thursday. So it really feels like it was like yesterday, but it's been two weeks. Um, so last pregnancy update was around 34 weeks. Um, and I'm, no, why do I keep saying that? I don't know, but you're, you're way off. But last time I was 34 weeks. No, 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 I was 33. All right, all right. Two weeks ago. Pregnancy brain is real. Um, but yeah, since then, I feel like my Braxton Hicks have gotten ridiculous. Like, I'm not kidding. It's, like, painful. And, like, almost, I could see, because they say, like, Braxton Hicks, gets, Braxton Hicks get worse with the second pregnancy because, like, your uterus already knows how to, like, contract. Like, it doesn't need to, like, practice that much because that's why the second baby comes faster is what they say. But I literally, it's kind of crazy. Like, if I move a little bit too much... It's just like a full on contraction. Like I'm like, whew, like have to breathe through it. It's weird, but so hardcore Braxton Hicks, hiccups. He has the hiccups all the time now, I feel like. Um, but like Lennon would always have hiccups like facing upwards. He has facing downwards. So like I literally can feel them in my butt. <laughs> like it's a weird feeling, but like that's good. That's how I know his head's down still. Um, his movements are crazy, I feel like. Like, Lennon never had crazy movements like that. What else? What else have I been complaining about? It just feels so heavy. Like, I'm not used to, like, I feel like I didn't carry Lennon as heavy last time. Like, this time, I'm like, it is, like, weighing on me. Like, my back, my legs, my pelvis, everything. But that's just, like, the end of pregnancy. But, we yeah. got a We got a big, got a big boy. Yeah. And something else I was telling Jared was like, I'm so, like, the first one, I feel like you want them to stay in as long as possible. You're like, oh, like, I'm going to soak this last moment in, like, and you don't know, like, what you're meeting. And so the unknown is, like, a little bit, like, scary. Like, you just are like, what's going to change? Like, what's going to happen? Second time around, I'm like, I know what I'm expecting. I know what I'm, who I'm going to meet. Like, I'm ready. Like, obviously, I don't know what he looks like or the who he is, but. Poop911.com. What? What is that? Maybe it's for dogs. We need someone to come clean up Rose That is poop. one heck of a marketing tool right there. Side of the car, poop, that one. one Makes you stop and think. That's what marketing's for. Um, what was I talking about? Something about... No, this is why. The first one you want them to stay in as long oh. as possible. Oh. I married you for a reason. <laughs> Anyways second one yeah, since you know what to expect you know like what this little person is going to be turning into i'm just so much more ready like i'm like okay come on i want to start our life now you know what i mean like you feel that way yeah he's just 
these pop Like, I'm like, I just want to meet you. Let's get going. Let's get, like, you out of me so I can, like, feel like a normal person again and just start our life with two under two. Two. Crazy. Um, but yeah, so we will obviously try to film during the appointment, during the growth scan. Very interested because last appointment we got a surprise ultrasound. I think I told you, you guys this and he was still measuring three weeks ahead. So we'll see this growth scan, what he's measuring. And I did update y'all in the last vlog about it, but okay. <sighs> 10 more minutes until we're there. So I'm gonna sit and jam in silence. All right. Growth scan. Y'all, these pictures are horrible. Awful. So bad. This office is not good at pictures, but, but that's okay. Great, but it's a great office. It's a great office. I actually love my OB so much, so yes. she cool. is fantastic. Well, got some updates. So he's still measuring three weeks ahead. Three weeks ahead, his normal. So technically I'm 34 weeks and six days. So 30. He's measuring 37 weeks in five days, so 38, so like three weeks. Um, but she said that he's getting into his like final little, final little like, um, what did she say? Like growth, because it's not yeah. slowing down, but it's still progressing how it is, but it's not like, she, it's not like speeding up, which is good. It means that he's getting ready to be fully cooked, which is fun. Um, but what else? So yeah, still measuring three weeks ahead. Um, everything looks great. Everything looks healthy, happy. We love that. He's moving like a crazy person. I did my strep B test, which if you are pregnant or newly pregnant, this is your first and you don't know what that is. It's a little swab test. Like make sure that you're not carrying this one little um, bacteria that can be harmful to baby basically in your vagine so that's a little little um update but i'll get those results back soon and then now we are going every single week every well, week not next week yeah yeah because i'm not 36 weeks yet we whenever you turn 36 weeks you go every week so i'm 35 weeks right now and the only reason we had to go was the growth scan obviously so uh, next visit is when we go every single time so she was like, I just, I just saw you. We just saw baby. Let's just wait a little bit more. But he is measuring six pounds, four ounces, which is very, it's again, all rough measurements, but six pounds, four ounces. I'm that's bigger <laughs> than what I'm supposed to be at 35 weeks. Um, six pounds, like usually in the six and a half pound range, you're supposed to be like 37 weeks pregnant. So again, that's kind of on par with all the measuring. And I don't like to get like too hung up on all this measuring stuff because like he could just pop out normal. So like, I guess this is just me, uh, obviously me documenting our journey for anyone else who maybe go through this or whatever. Ooh. But, um, so she did with my strep B test, she did check my cervix. And turns out I am a little dilated. So she said there would be like- Who knows, who knows? Who knows, but she she was like, yep, you're definitely a little dilated. Um, and I was like, wow, so that means my Braxton Hicks that have been like crazy are actually real contractions, like some of them are. Uh, but she's not worried about preterm lab labor. She said, I still think you're good. Like your cervix would be turned forward. Like there would be other signs, like it would be thinning, which it's not thinning yet. Um, which is still good, but like the dilation and it just shows like good progression and that it means that my body's getting ready to do what it's meant to do. So we love that. Um, it did kind of scare both of us for a second because with Lennon at 30, like obviously at 35, 30, like 35 weeks, you're supposed to be nice and closed. So nice and closed and nothing going on down there. And the fact that I'm having some things going on down there and he's measuring, you know, obviously a couple weeks ahead. We, I still think he's coming early. I hope he comes early, but yeah. 
I agree. I'm just, I don't even care how big he is. If it's, if he comes out at six pounds, I'm like, woo, perfect. I don't care. Just come early because I would love to not be pregnant anymore and just start our life like I just told y'all. But she um, did say that she would gladly. She did say, yeah. since all of my measurements and everything, she said that we definitely could do an induction at 38 weeks if I wanted to. And I'm definitely glad that's on the table. So it's good to like have that mentality because again, like with football, he goes back for training end of April and I would love to have like a four week old by then so that we can travel comfortably with him. Um, but other than that, yeah. So got my cervix checked and I'm dilated. Which means now whenever I say I have a Braxton Hicks, you can actually understand how badly it hurts. I never, I have sympathy. You act like I don't. You don't have sympathy because you're, I'm not in actual labor yet. But those mean that I'm actually having real contractions. Do you know what that means? Yeah. If I'm yeah. dilating, that means something's going on. But yeah, all good things. I think it's just, I'm glad that she said that she's not worried about preterm labor because obviously we don't want this baby to come until 37 weeks. Like 37 weeks is when you're full term. So after that, I'm like, dilate me. Let's go. Go ahead, bubs. But yeah, so that's really it. Our next appointment will be 36 weeks. So in about a week and a couple days. So we will catch up with y'all then on Baby Watch. It's here. Even though I'm only 35 weeks, we're still on Baby Watch. <laughs> oh my goodness. That looks dope. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, we definitely picked the right color. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Can't even tell on camera. There you go. Yay. Okay, y'all. I am on my way to my hair appointment um it's like three my appointment's at 345 it's 320 right now i'm gonna get there right at 345 because i freaking hate coming into dallas this late it's so the traffic is so bad like it's just annoying but the nursery is all done and it looks so so good i'm so excited i will probably show y'all the full reveal next vlog um, because when I get home, it's going to be pitch black. And so I'd rather show you guys like everything, all the updates, but at least you got a little sneak peek in this vlog. It basically looks the same as that I just showed you, but, um, headed to my hair appointment for those who live in Dallas or Dallas and Fort Worth. Um, I go to Indigo Child and my girl's name is Ivy. She is incredible. Literally, I don't get my hair cut very often and I only trust her to do it so that's saying a lot and um, I just need like a really good bang touch up because I like when my curtain bangs are a certain length my curtain bang inspo is always Matilda Durf I'll put a little inspo pic of her right here but my hair texture isn't the same as hers so we have to like kind of like do my version of it with that works with my hair and that's why it's so important to find someone who's like really good at cutting hair because they'll know your texture. They won't just give you what your inspo is. They'll work with the inspo so that it works with your hair, if that makes sense. Because everyone has different textured hair and everything. And then as far as like length, I'm not cutting off any length. I'm just like, I'm keeping it. I'm not gonna do that big old chop yet. I wanna wait until I'm not pregnant. Um, but yeah, so today's just like a little trim, touch up. I want my curtain bangs to fall the way that I like them to fall. It's just, my hair grows so fast. Like it grows so fast. So yeah. So like if I wanted like, I, I used to have to get like bang trims every two weeks, but obviously I'm not going to be going to the haircut every two weeks while I'm pregnant. Like that's too much, but I will let Ivy fill y'all in on like all of like the little specifics that she does because like, I don't know. I just ask for a lot of choppy layers, um, because my hair is pretty straight, but the layers are what make my hair have like texture and curl almost that's if you want to say it like that um and then my curtain bangs of course are like my my thing i've been getting them since october i know it was october which is so weird but it was october 2019 after our wedding and have not 
strayed away from them since because I just love them so much. They're such a easy, manageable, like, statement for me and my hair. So, and when they grow out, I don't like my hair. So, because it's too flat. And I like a lot of poof, like, Dolly Parton, baby. Um, but yeah, so... When I get there, I'll have her take y'all through a little like rundown of like specifics on what she's like doing so that you can bring it to your hairdresser because I get so many questions on this all the time and I never know what to say because I'm just like, it's just how she cuts my hair. I don't know. But let's go do that and then I'm gonna get salada for dinner which I'm so excited so that's a plus about having to come into Dallas however there's a salada in Fort Worth so I usually go to that one but just like making this trip even more worth it with a yummy dinner to treat myself to afterwards so very excited but I also put on some mascara to make myself feel a little bit more alive because um, I always like to feel like I'm like put together when I get my hair done because then afterwards I feel like even better with my hair done, makeup on, all of that. So that's the vibes. Okay, okay. we know. Let's do consultation first. Yes. This Wait. is Ivy everybody. Yes, this is me. <laughs> um how are you worried about you in the car? Okay, so. good. Let the people know. Yeah. Come here. My hair is so trial. fast. Okay, you your hair is literally so long. So long. Again. And we chopped it a lot last I know, time. we did. So, what's the vibes? I want to keep the length. Mm -hmm. I just want it cleaned up and like, it's so heavy now. Yeah, I just want, yeah, it's like flat. And mm -hmm. you know I don't like flat. And then my bangs. We need my bangs back. Do you want them how we usually do that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because obviously I have like barely any curtains. You right literally now. have no bangs right now. I know. For you, this is nothing. Layers. Yeah. So definitely just want it like more choppy. Yeah. Your usual that yeah. you do me. And then like my bangs need to be like shorter. I'm thinking like cheek, you started cheekbone. Is that like even like. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You kind of play around with them. Yeah. Too. I'm going to. Okay. Just because I'm a they go like that. crazy girl, I'm gonna start a cheek bump and then you tell me to pull yes. them up. Yeah. Just so that we can be safe rather than sorry. Perfect. Um, Lengthwise, where do you want to see it hit? Same. Just clean uh, up a tiny bit. Okay, yeah, I yeah. want the same length. I do too. I yeah. love when you have that length. I think what you really just need is the movement in there. Yes. Not to feel so flat. Yeah. That's Perfect. Helpful. Okay. Y'all heard it. Y'all heard it. That's I don't know. We get. That's, That's what she does. Um, round layers, lots of texture, curtain bangs, starting at the cheekbone, yep. face framing, all the things. I told them I was like, I do my curtain bangs a little different because I use a lot of curtain. She uses, like, she goes back of my so hair. far. Like that's like all my first, like yeah, I was amazed when she first came to me yeah. because it was so far back. I was like, go off girl. We like to stay really committed to this one. Yes. Um, your middle. Yeah, I like to do that yeah. for the for sure, yeah. Just got 
back home. I haven't showed Jared my hair because it was raining right whenever I got out of the salon. And I'm like, I just got a blowout and... Think I'm a blowout? <laughs> oh, whoa, hold on. You, how much did you get chopped off? Not that much, just like oh. thinned out. I was about to say, it definitely looks, yeah, thinner. Yeah, I needed it because it was so heavy. Oh, yeah, I love to your haircut. <laughs> Mama looks hot. She always looks hot, but Well, that's the end of this vlog. We got to go help my sister with bedtime. So, let me know if you guys like this format. And let me know if you want to see more. Jared, shut up. <laughs> yeah, let me know if you guys like this format. And if you do, we'll do more of it. And if you don't, well, it's over now, so don't worry. <laughs> if you don't like it, you can. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Jared has got a massage, so he's feeling very zen right now. I feel great. All right. Bye. See you next vlog.